Okay, guys, um, we continue with our mathematics, grade 11, exponents and thirds. Yesterday, we tried to revise grade 10 by looking at the laws of exponents. This is very key um, in understanding the basics. As the basics now will start compiling up, you know, in becoming complex questions. So, please, if you missed yesterday's class, please go back to YouTube. And make sure you quickly watch that first lesson after today's session and put today's session and yesterday's session together. All right. Please, very, very key. Very, very key. Okay. All right, so we went through all of this, and I think we had some work to do for those of you that were with me yesterday. Even if you were not with me in class yesterday, you remember your grade 10 work. Okay, we did this. Let's see. Let's quickly mark for just a few minutes. All right, I think we have, all right, we have these other ones to mark. Let's mark that. Let's start with marking um, so that you can see where you went wrong. That's very important. Feedback is very important in maths. Okay, so I am going to, we did A, D, F, and, okay, let me just do this. Let me just reproduce the screen. Let me reproduce the screen as we begin today's work. Okay, just getting a fresh page for us. All right, beautiful. Uh, which other work did we have to do? Which other work? All right, this. All right, we have some to do here as well. Okay. Uh, don't worry, I'll be with you now. I'm just trying to put all the work on one side. We start quickly from there. Okay. Good. All right, let's start with the ones we did not do. So, let me clean this part. Remember, feel free to let me know if um, you are getting lost. Okay, just send a message through. And we will assist you. All right, thank you for those that registered through. All right, guys, quickly, let's look at 2A. A, how do we do this? We said yesterday, 1 to the power of 2011 will be 1. Anything to the power of 1 will be 1. So 1, 2011. <laughs> Is one okay over 2011 now we said if it's a negative exponent at the bottom what do we do we take it up and it becomes a positive what exponent so it's 1 times 2011 it is now a positive all right and our answer would be 2011 we done that negative exponent at the bottom when it goes up becomes a positive what exponent i hope that makes sense uh what's next c let's see six times two to the power negative two over three to the power negative three all right remember we're not using calculators here so what do we do um the two to the power negative two all right it's a negative at the top when it goes to the bottom, it becomes a positive. Are you seeing the sign change in there? All right? Negative at the top, positive at the bottom. But the 3 is a negative at the bottom. What happens? We take it back to the top, and it becomes a positive exponent. So we are switching roles. I hope that makes sense. The 2 has a negative exponent at the top. When it goes to the bottom, it becomes positive. The 3 has a negative exponent at the bottom. When it goes up, it becomes what? A positive exponent. Now we can simply 
simplify this. Um, I would say, okay, this is what? 27 over, over 4. Now you can do this without a calculator. Uh, 2 would go in here, 2, 2 would go in there, 3. And so what do we have? 3 times 27 would give us. Remember, please try to use, uh, try not to use a calculator. 3 times 7 will be 21. We have a 2 carried over. 3 times 2 will be what? 6. Okay? Remember, we've carried over 2. Alright? 3 times 2, 6. Plus 2, 8. 81 over 2. You can use a calculator to confirm your answer. That is the only thing you should engage with um, a calculator at the moment. You just confirm your answer. If your answer is wrong, you go back and fix it. But not to use a calculator. Oh, sorry. Not to use a calculator to start doing everything. It's just for answer confirmation. 3 to the power of negative 3. All right, 81 over 2. I hope that makes sense, guys. Using the laws that we spoke about yesterday. Check that answer is done. Let's go to the next one. Do we have space? What's the next one? F. 2 to the power negative 4 plus 2. Okay. What is 2 to the power negative 4? It's a negative exponent. Automatically, it goes under. All right. Plus 2 to the power 4. Now, what do we have? What is 2 to the power 4? I told you yesterday, you must know all of this. You must know all of this um, exponents. 2 to the power 4 would be 1 over 16. Plus, this is 16. I hope you remember what we did yesterday. Do you guys remember? Diagonal, diagonal, denominator. For those that were in. So, 1 times 1 would give me 1 plus. Alright, 16 times uh, 16. Okay, you can use a calculator to quickly work that out. Okay, and that will give me 256. But show all your steps over 16. And then our final answer will be what? 257 over 16. Let's see if we are correct. 2 to the power negative 4. So you check just to make sure you are correct and fix any error. All right? Plus 2 to the power of 4. 257 over 16. I hope that is good and making sense to everyone. Okay. Uh, what's, what's next? G now. And then we are done with this page. G and we are done. Guys, math requires a lot of practice, daily practice. Whatever question you see, don't do it with your head. Take a pen and work it out. All right, let's see. G, 1 over 3 to the power negative 1 plus 2 to the power negative 2. Okay, let's make it easy. This is the same as 1 divided. Let's open a bracket. 3 to the power negative 1 plus 2 to the power negative 2. Just take it step by step. What is 3 to the power negative 1? It is 1 over 3. Alright? To the power 1. What about 2 to the power negative 2? Is 1 over becomes a positive exponent. Beautiful. 1 divided. Alright? 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Okay. What do we have next? I taught you how to do with fractions. Diagonal, diagonal denominator 1 times 4 you start from the left to the right okay 3 times 1 3 denominator 3 times 4 12 so this is 1 divided by 7 over 12 1 times you should know that rule from grade 8 all right change to multiplication and the you reciprocate the answer let's see calculator quickly just to check if you and I are correct. So, it is 1 divided by 3 to the power negative 1 uh, plus 2 to the power of uh, negative 2. Broom, 12 over 7. Uh, let me know, guys. Are we okay with this section so far? 
with this first set of activities, let me know. You got them right for those that were in yesterday. And for those that were not in, this is just revision as well. Quickly, we're moving very fast. All right, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Uh, let's see the ease. The ease, what am I seeing here? Okay, no hand raised. No hand raised. So we're good, guys. Awesome. We can then safely move to the next set of activities. Everyone seems to be okay with that. Let's move to the next set of activities. Uh, is it this one? No. There must be one before this. There must be one before this. Oh, yep. This. Okay. The ones that are in red, we did yesterday already. Okay. So we are going to quickly look at the other ones. Let's move as quickly as possible. 1b what do we do negative 2 x to the power 3 y to the power 2 yesterday we said if it's an odd number exponent your answer becomes what negative all right negative now what do we do we dis expand uh okay not really we just distribute with we just distribute the exponent okay we only expand when you have a plus or a minus in between. Here we just distribute. So to make it easy for you to see, it's going to be 2 to the power 3, x to the power 3 times 3, that's what we're doing. y to the power 2 times 3, I hope it makes sense. So what do we have? Negative 8, x to the power 9, y to the power 6. We're done. Right? We're done there. All right. Uh, there's somebody watching TV while in class. Okay. <laughs> All right. C. What do we have? 3 to the power 3, um, 2, 3 to the power 2. What do you do there? You multiply the powers now. All right. This will be multiplied. And that will give us what? 3 to the power 6 times 3 to the power what? 2. Now, what do you do? Same base. What do you do to the exponent? We add. So, what do we have? 3 to the power 8. We're done. We move. That's how we do math, guys. Don't do magic when it comes to math. Do use the process. Okay, let's. What's next? Uh, e. Okay, let's see E. We're going to squeeze it here. Negative 12 x to the power 3 over 15 y to the power negative 2 all what squared let's deal with the bracket first let's solve what's in the bracket according to the law of board mass bracket of division multiplication addition and subtraction now 12 over 15 i see that 3 can go in 12 divided by 3 would give me what 4 15 divided by 3 would give me 5 so this is 4 over what five but there's a negative there right remember where the look at the question the question has the negative on the 12 but when i'm done simplifying check where my negative is the position is very key please let me show you what i mean look at your calculator i want to show you negative 12 over 15 do you see where the position of that negative is Check what's going to happen to the position of the negative. It changes immediately. Do you see it now in the middle? Yes. Please, that's important in math. Very important. Okay, what do we have? X to the power 3. Can I bring my Y up? Does that make sense? You may have done a different process. But 
I hope this is making sense. Why is my Y coming up? Because it's a negative exponent at the bottom. I am trying to get rid of that negative. Bring it up, it becomes what? Positive. Those are the laws, definitions we spoke about. Oh, by the way, there's a squared. Now, negative in the bracket, even exponent, my answer should be positive. Now we square everything inside the bracket. What is 4 squared? 16. What is 3 times 2 on the x? 6. What is 2 times 2 on the y? 4. And what is 5 squared? 25. That's your answer. That is your answer. Let's enjoy maths. I hope it's making sense so far. Oh, we only have one more. Great. And then we can move to other stuff. Please quickly write down your corrections there. And feel free to ask questions, please. Ask if you need to ask. <clears throat> ask if you need to ask. Are we okay on this page? Okay. All right, while you are giving me a response, I'm just checking on something here. All right, I'm still waiting for responses. Okay, why are we moving the Y to the top? All right, okay, uh, there's a Christabel and CM Tanda. I should explain the last one again. All right, CM Tanda says, why are we, are we moving? Now, it's part of the definitions, okay? We don't want to leave things as a negative exponent in maths. If possible, we want to change it to a positive. So the rule... Or the definition says, if it's a negative exponent at the bottom, take it up, it becomes a positive exponent. If it's a negative exponent at the top, bring it down, it becomes a negative exponent. See, I'm Tanda? I hope you are okay. All right, Christopher, let's, let's assist you again. Um, let me do this particular question again. Do it again for you. All right. Thank you for asking. I love it when you ask and you're not quiet on me. Which one were we doing? E, right? Okay. We said, neg follow my steps. Over 15, y to the power negative 2, all squared. First, we said, let's deal with what's in the bracket. 12 over 15 would give us what? 4 over 5. But it's a neg negative divided by positive would give us what? A negative. That's why my negative sign moves. It was negative 12 before, but it's now negative 4 over 5. Okay. Now, x to the power 3, we're okay. Now, y to the power negative 2, the negative exponent is at the bottom. What do we do? We take it up. It becomes a positive what? Exponent. Now, everything squared. Negative times negative, because that's what we're doing now. Negative times negative becomes what? Positive. 4 times 4, 16. x3 squared, we multiply the exponent, right? 3 times 2 would give us what? 6. y2, 2 times 2 would give us what? 4. And what is 5 squared? 25. I hope we're good there now. I hope you're good there. Yes, question. That's, e. That's yes, I was redoing E again. Just for Christabel. Okay. Alright, let's look at G. Let's look at G. G looks very interesting. Negative three A to the power two. Let me cut this out. I need space.
I need the space. Guys, once you remember your laws, life becomes very easy. So the problem is, do you remember the laws of maths? And the only way to remember is for you to sit down. With the, the way you sit down with your soapies, sit down with maths. Some of you can. Some of you have watched all the movies on Netflix. I think I'm going to start posting my videos on Netflix, so I can catch you there. When you watch a movie, you do maths. Yeah. Uh, Tondani, for questions like this, do we always need to simplify first? It's always the easiest. Simplify. Follow the rules. I'm going to catch you on Netflix. Don't worry. You guys are laughing. Catch you on Netflix. So, simplify the bracket. Follow the rule. Board mass. Bracket off. I hope you remember. Makes it a lot easier to work with. All right. Um, okay. Are you guys okay? It's not cool. All right, let's look at this. Okay, let's deal with the bracket first. There's a square there. It's a negative here in the bracket, and it's a positive. It's an even number. So what are we expecting? Positive. Are we okay? Now, three squared will be what? Nine. Three times three, nine. All right? Two times two, four. Four times two, eight. Over three. Now, two times three would give us what? Six. One times three. Now we can simplify. What is nine over three? That's three. Nine divided by three. Now, what do we do when we are dividing with the same base? We subtract the exponent. And I said, always subtract where there is more. It's always easier. Subtract where there is more. Where do we have more A's? At the bottom. So, what is 6 minus 4? All right. Subtract where there is more. What about B? At the top, that's where it's more. 8 minus 3. And we are done. Subtract where there is more. See, I'm telling that your end is still up. Um, sorted now. Okay, great. Guys, so look for questions. Get into your textbooks. Just keep solving math. Solve math until a point where... You feel guilty when you've not done maths. Do math until you get to a point where you say, ah, but guys, I haven't done maths today. Something is wrong. That's when you know now that you are getting there. Not when you see math. Oh, God. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This maths teacher. Mm -mm. When you see your maths teacher, hug them. Those are the best teachers ever. All right. Can we move on? Can we move on? All right. Okay, look at this one. You remember we did this yesterday. Now, we said in this case, we are more, today we are going to do addition and subtraction. But now, look at this one. We said change all the numbers to what? Prime factors. A. I hope I can use this board for the three. I'm going to squeeze it in. A. Let's see. What is 10? Prime factors. 2 times 5. Okay. So what do I have? 2 times 5. Everything to the power of what? X. Does that make sense? Multiplied by what? The dot means multiplication. 25. 5 squared. Change. Look. Mess is now. Nah. X plus. Don't do magic. Let the examiner see everything. Let me put this here. That's my 25. Over. All right, there's nothing we can do about 5. It's already a prime. What about 50? 2 times 5 squared. If you don't know how to do that, let me show you something here. Uh, this calculator will be too small for you. 
you've got to manage it. Oh, da, 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 it disappeared now. Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, check. I know it's very tiny for those of you that can see this. But all you need to do is to press 50 on your calculator. All right. Please press 50 on your calculator. You can zoom in here. Guys, you can zoom in if you are uh, on your phone. You can zoom in to see what I'm going to do. 50 equals to. Then you press the shift button. Look for it. It's on top left. All right. Shift. Now, you go to the button that says F-A-C-T. Uh, let's find it quickly. Let's find it. Uh, it's on the black ones, okay? Second row or second column, the third row. You would see F-A-C-T. Find it for me. F-A-C-T. Once you have it, 2 times 5 squared. If you got it, please give me a thumbs up. If you did not get it, please give me a thumbs down. I need to make sure everybody sees that. And everybody knows how to use the calculator. So you must get 2 times 5 squared. Sorry, I tried to make that calculator big, but uh, it ain't working. Okay, uh, is it Unkubeko? You want to talk to me quickly? Because you gave me thumbs down. Talk to me quickly. I need to quickly show you how you did the process of changing the calculator. All right. Does your calculator look like mine? Yes. Okay. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Please press 50. Press equal to. Now press shift. Okay. Let's count. Let's count together. Let's count together. 50. Um, okay. We have shift, right? Let's go down. One, two, three. We are now on the negative sign. Are you there with me? Yes, sir. Now go right once. What do you see on top? Is it F A C T? Um, yeah. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Ah. Okay. What's written in red after F A C T on that button? Come on, talk to me. Are we on the same page? Is it 50? Huh? Okay, we said 50 equals shift. All right. Please, I want you to count with me, right? Count the buttons. On the shift, you have what you call C A L C. Right? Don't press it. Under that, you have another button. Are you there? Which button? Um, okay, just wait. Are you? Can you see shift? Yes, I can see shift. Okay. Now, count, go down three buttons. One, two, three. You will see a negative. Yes, sir. Okay. Bes go now... Beside the negative, there's another button on the right-hand side, your second column. Yes, sir. It say, it, it's written dot, comma, 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 like that, right? Yes, yes, yes sir. Now, there is a F-A-C-T. Can you see F-A-C-T on that button? Yes, sir. In yellow? Yes, sir. Press that button for me. Okay, What's your calculator showing? It's multiplied by five. And we are done. That's it. That's what we are looking for. That's what we are looking for. Okay, so we're good, everybody. We're good, right? Okay. 
All right, guys, I'm going to quickly do this first one and then we will do the second one. Are we okay? All right, so what do we have? Two times five what? Squared. Everything to the power x minus one. Lovely. Now what do we do? We distribute. Guys, we distribute. We learnt that distribution, so we are going to have to use it. We learnt that distribution, we are going to have to use that distribution. Okay, just one second, guys. Um, just give me one second. I'll do it now. All right, guys, let's finish up now. Now, what do we do? We distribute that exponent. Remember, I said we only distribute if it's a multiplication. Okay, so what are we going to have? 2 to the power x times 5 to the power x, right? Times 5 to the power what? 2 times x, 2x. Two, 2 times 1, 2. Because you are multiplying everything there. Okay? Over, what do we have? 5 to the power x times 2 to the power x minus 1 times 5 to the power 2x minus 2. Please let me know if anyone is lost here. This is important. If you are lost, just give me a thumbs down quickly. Five seconds. Covenant, talk to me. Sorry? Okay, all right. Everybody looks to be good. We're good. Now, what do we do? We group. Since we're multiplying all the twos and all the fives. Okay, let's move. Two to the power x. Now, check on top at the numerator. Is there any other two? No. All right, let me get a highlighter. This is the only two here. The next two, where is it? It's at the bottom. Same base, at the bottom means we are dividing. And if we are dividing, what do we do? We subtract the exponent. Now, please, this is where you are going to make a mistake and get it wrong. When it comes to subtracting the exponent, please, my dear learners, Always use a bracket. Always use a bracket. So what are we going to have? Minus x minus 1. Please. Times, we are done with the 2. Let's go to the 5. There are a lot of 5s. 5x, is that fine? We are still at the top. On the top again. 2x plus 2. Does that make sense? Let me, let me highlight the one I'm picking. Check here. Is that fine? That is that. It's multiplying. What do we do? We add plus that. Now, look, look at this. What's happening? It's divided at the bottom. So it becomes what? A minus. Make sense? This one is also at the bottom. But it's more than one term. Please use a bracket. Let's simplify. Negative times x, negative x. Negative times negative 1, positive 1. We're done there. Times 5, x plus 2x plus 2 minus x. 
negative times 2x, negative 2x, negative times negative, positive what? 2. Now we are basically solving. What is x minus x? 0. We are left with 1. And that's simply 2. Times 5. Okay. What is x plus 2x? 3x. Minus x? 2x. Minus 2x? 0. All the x's are gone. What are we left with? 2 plus 2. That gives us what? 4. Make sense, everybody? Now, what is 2 times 5 to the power 4? This you can use a calculator. Yes? Can I ask? Yes, you may. Okay, in the 2x and then minus x minus 1 in the bracket, where did you get that x minus 1 in the bracket? Here, at the bottom. Yeah, the first one. Yeah? Yeah. This is your x oh, minus 1. Okay. So the minus is because we are dividing, right? And always use a bracket. bracket. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. You are welcome. All right, uh, what is 5 to the power 4? That should be 6 to 5. And 6 to 5 times 2 would give you what? 1250. Your answer should be 1250. All right, are we okay, guys? Thank you, Simika. Are we good, everybody? All right. Let's look at B. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Well done. Good job. Let's look at B. Ah, what do we do with B? It's a 6 there. Change it into prime what? Factors. What is 6? 2 times 3. Okay, so B. 2 times 3. Let's move very fast on this. n plus 2. What is 10? 2 times 5. n minus 2 over what is 4? 2 to the power 2. All right? n. What is 15? 3 times 5. n minus 2. Oh, sweet. Can we now distribute? What do we have? 2 to the power n plus 2 times 3 to the power n plus 2 times 2 to the power n minus 2 times 5 to the power n minus 2 over, I hope I'm not too fast here, 2 to the power 2n times 3 to the power n minus 2 times 5 to the power n minus 2. Oops. There's a hand up. See, I'm tender, your end is up. See, I'm, to, I'm just uh, multiplying now. Since we've done all of this, we're now just 2 times that. That goes to the power there. That goes to the power there. That goes to, that's all I'm doing now. That's all. This is 1. 1 times that. We go. 1 times that. Boom. Are you okay now? Since we did the first one, we don't want to be slow anymore now. We just want to use that knowledge. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Are you okay though? Did it make sense? Let me know quickly. Awesome. Uh, guys, so what do we do? We can group. But before we group, I want you to notice something. Do you notice this can even cancel that? It's 5 times 5 to the power n minus 2 at the top. 5 to the power. So let's make it easier. Let's get rid of that. Okay, but there's no other one that we can get rid of. Because it's no longer the same. So the 5 is gone. So what do we have? Now let's group. n plus 2 at the top. What's next? There's also this one, right? What do we do? We add. Just remember your rules. Times 3. n plus... Oh, no, no. There's another 2. I missed another 2. There's a 2n at the bottom. Right? Minus 2n. Times 3. What do we have? n plus 2. Is that fine with you? At the bottom, what do you have? n minus 2. We use a bracket, right? Minus n minus 2. Alright, let's do the math. n plus n. 
Let me get a highlighter. N plus N. 2N. 2N minus 2N. Zero. All right? What are we left with? 2 minus 2. Zero. Please, don't say you don't, you're not writing anything there. Put a zero there. That's very important. Times 3. Let's open that bracket. Negative times n. Negative times negative 2. Positive 2. All right. What is n minus n? Zero. What is 2 plus 2? 4. Let's simplify. What is 2 to the power 0? 1. And what is 3 to the power 4? 81. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Uh, guys, <coughs> are we okay? <coughs> huh? We okay, everybody? <clears throat> Look, like we did yesterday. I like maths because maths, they'll give you a question and you can mark yourself before you submit. That's one thing I like about maths. Check. Somebody type a number for me, just a, a single digit number, the first number I see. I want to pick that number. Somebody type a, a number. All right. Kyle gave me a five. Okay, Kyle was fast. Gave me a five. So I'm going to anywhere I see N. I'm going to put 5. I'm on B now, right? It says N plus 2. What is N plus 2? What is 5 plus 2? 7. Remember what I'm doing? My N is 5. So what do I have? 6 to the power what? 7. All right? Times 10 to the power. My N is what? 5. What is 5 minus 2? 3. Okay? Over 4. What is my n? 5. All right? Times 15. What is my n? My n is 5. What is 5 minus 2? 3. Check your answer. 81. We got 81. And we used 5. If I use 7, I'm going to get the same answer. If I use 15 as n, I'm going to get the same answer. Any number. Is that making sense? You want me to try another number? Let's try. Let's try Christabel. Let's try Christabel. Christabel said let's try seven. Okay, let's try seven to see. Let's try seven. So my n is now seven. Six to the power. Seven plus two. Nine. All right. Times ten. We're using seven, right? Seven minus two. Five. Okay. Over. 4 to the power what? 7. Okay, there's a child there. Alright. Times 15 to the power. We're using N as 7, right? 7 minus 2? 5. 81. Make sense? It means that your steps are correct. No matter what the value of N is, you don't care. So guys, you can always check and then, if it's not the same, you can just go back and fix. You probably have made a mistake somewhere. There's a hand up. Okay, hand is down. Guys, are we okay? I want to move to the next page where we can move on. Are we okay? Did this make sense to you? You got it? All right, please, I need everyone to respond. I'm quickly checking all the names that are responding. It allows me to know that you are with me. And I can deal with any question. All right. Spamandla, your hand is up. Spamandla, unmute yourself and quickly talk to Moa. If you have a question. Or is it by mistake? Hey, I can just so can, can you give me just a few minutes? Sorry? I'm so can you give me just a minute? Few minutes. Yes, sir. What are you doing? 
I am writing down all the songs. Screenshot. Take a screenshot. Right. Okay, sir. Awesome. Take a screenshot. Yes, I'm done. Oh, sweet. You see now it's fast. Let's use the phone. Yes, uh -huh. Put your hands down now so that I will see when you raise your hand up the next time. Let's look at C. And we, do, we all do this together now. Okay. C. Six. What can we do to six? Beautiful. Two times three to the power of X times what should we do to nine? Three squared. All right? Please, those brackets are very key. Times what? Two over, and don't forget, this is two to the power what? one. What about 27? Three to the power three. Okay? X plus one times two X minus one. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet math. Can we distribute? 2 to the power x. Please write nicely. You will enjoy math. Write nicely. 3 to the power what? x. Times, we multiply. Alright? That's what we're doing. 2x plus what? 2x plus 2 times 2 to the power what? 1 over. What do we have? 3. Multiply. 3x plus 3 times 2. x minus 1. Okay. Can we then finish up? Let's group all the 2's. 2 to the power x is on top. There's also a 1 there, right? 2 to the power 1. So it is plus 1. Make sense? Now let's go to the bottom. Is there another 2 at the bottom? Yes. What do we do? Subtract. But what do we put? Bracket. I'm going to mention that bracket until you hate the word bracket. X minus 1. Is that fine? We're done with all the 2's. Can we move to the 3? What do we have with the 3? 3. What do we have? X. Numerator. What do we have? 2x plus 2. Does that make sense? At the bottom, what do we have? 3x plus 3. But what do we bring? Minus. And what's to bring a minus? We open a bracket. 3x plus what? 3. Sweet. Let's work. x plus 1 minus x. Negative, negative. Plus 1. Is that fine with you? All right. Times 3x plus 2x plus 2, let's open the bracket, minus 3x, negative times positive, negative 3. Are we good? Okay, look, you look confused. Uh, okay, I want to first ask on 2, so why do you put, why do you put the brackets for minus 1? Here, yes. every time you put a negative, please always put a bracket, because the negative should affect everything in the bracket. So please don't forget that. Every time you put a negative, always put what? A bracket. That's where learners make a lot of errors. Negative is very dangerous. Every time you put a negative, please let's always put a bracket. So now they are in the second line is now uh, converted to a positive. I don't understand that. Negative multiplied by positive x, negative x. Negative times negative 1, positive 1. Because negative times negative would give you positive. Same thing here. Negative times positive would give us what? Negative. Negative times positive will also give us what? Negative. Okay. Guys, I hope everybody's okay with that. All right, let's simplify it. Now, let me get a highlighter. What is x minus x? Zero. Positive 1, positive 1 would give us 2. So what are we left with there? 2 to the power what? 2 times 3. Let's deal with this. Follow me. I'm going to use a highlighter to guide you. What is x plus 2x? 3x. Minus 3x? 
that's gone. What is positive 2 minus 3? Negative 1. Okay, sweet. What is 2 squared? 4. Right? Now, what is 3 to the power negative 1? There's a negative there. Get rid of that negative exponent. 1 over 3. This is 4 over 1. So your answer should be? Ah, let's see. Somebody give me a number quickly. A number. Let's check. First number I see. Ooh. 8. Okay. It's like you were waiting. All right. Okay. So I have two people that gave me 8 already. So let's use 8. What do we have? 6 to the power what? 8. Are we there? Times 9 to the power. What is 8 plus 1? 9. Just follow. Don't use your calculator. Just wait. Let's do it together. Times 2. Are we there? 27 to the power. What are, what are we using again? We're using 8, right? 8 plus 1 would give us what? 9 times 2. What is 8 minus 1? 7. Okay, let's see. 4 over 3. Boom. Done. So you can always check your answer when you practice. I'll show you how to check if your answer still has a variable at the end. I'll show you. Okay. We need to go to the next concept now. But I believe we are all okay. And we see that maths can be done. I told the grade 12 that maths and physics, these are the new LOs. You know, maths is the new LO. Let's just wake up and do maths and enjoy it. Let me get your thumbs up as we move from here. And if there's any questions. We all okay. Make sense? Please, guys, go back to the rules. That's all I'm using. Rules and the definite. That's all. You know the rules? Mm -hmm. You do any question. You know the definitions? You interpret any question. Very, very key that we get the rules in place. All right. We move on. Now, guys, I'm going to deal with what you call addition and subtraction. Here, do you notice we're not adding? We are multiplying and we are what? Dividing. When it comes to addition and subtraction, please, you must learn one or two things. I'll give you the rules. Okay, just one second. Addition and subtraction. Okay, let's move. Addition and subtraction of power with numerical basis. Number one, step one. Let's walk through the steps. One, change the basis to prime factors. You understand what I mean there, right? Number two. Uh, Boy Pilo, your hand is up. You want to say something? Boy Pilo, your hand is up. What do you mean by um, always, like, must you always change to prime factors when yeah. it's addition and subtraction? Even when you are dealing with multiplication, do you notice we change all of this? 10, yeah. we change to what? 2 times 5, like that. That's what you must first do. When you see these questions. Is that okay? Yes, thank you. Always do that. Change the basis to what? Prime factors. And we know how to do that, right? Your shift fact. Number two. Rewrite exponent expressions. I'll explain what I mean. E.g., if you have 2 to the power x plus 1, what does this mean? Look, guys, do you notice we have added, there's a plus on the exponent, right? When do we add? We add when we multiply with the same what? Base. So we rewrite this to give us 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. 
please, that's very key. I want you to follow these steps. Number one, change the basis to prime factors. Number two, rewrite the exponent word. Ex break it down. What do you think 3 to the power 2x minus 3 would be? Just split the numerator, that, uh, split the exponent, keep the base, that's what we're saying. 3 to the power what? 2x times 3 to the power negative 3. We're done. Is that making sense? All right. Number 3, factorize. That is, look for the common factor. Ah, I've got a teacher there. Thank you. Factorize. And when it comes to factorization, also, okay, factorize. Let me break this down. Look for the common factor. Okay, I'm sure you know how to do that. And number two, watch out for difference of two squares. We did that in grade 10. Difference of two what? Squares. Let me give you an example quickly of you factorizing. Example. of We are looking at number three. 2x plus 1 minus 2 to the power x. Watch what I'm going to do, everybody. What is the first thing I said you should do? Change the basis into what? Prime factor. In fact, can I change this too? Let's make it 6. Alright, what's our first rule? Change into what? Now, that's 6. Can we change the 6? Yes. So, what are we going to get? So, this remains 2x plus 1 minus what? 2 times 3. Is that fine? Okay. Oh, by the way, we can rewrite our 2 to the power x plus 1, right? What do we have? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power what? 1. Is that fine with you? Yes. Minus 2 to the power x times 3 to the power what? x. Does that make sense? We've done that. We distribute the exponent. Um, Katleo, your hand is up. Cat. Hands down. All right. Now, guys, please look. I want to say something here. Look at the negative and the positive like a wall. Let's say I have a wall here. Is that okay? I have a left side of the wall. I have a right side of the wall. Check those two sides of the wall. There's something common to both of them. What is common? Two. No, not two. X. Two to the power X. That's a full expression. 2 to the power x is common. Check this. I have this here. Uh, let me make this lighter. I have this here. And I also have it there. It's on both sides. It's fine, Katleo. We're, we're good. Uh, are you okay with what I just did right now? 2 to the power x. We are now on step 3. What are we doing? We are factorizing. Because we are looking for the common. So, 2 to the power x is com That's the language. It is common. So, let's take it out. What do we have on the left? We only have 2 to the power 1 left. Minus. What do we have on the right? 3 to the power what? x. And that's our answer. There's nothing we can do more. There's nothing we can do more for this. I just created a question just to show you the steps. Da, 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 da. We are going to do so many questions now, quickly. But I want to quickly explain the difference of two squares now. I want to explain difference of two squares. We did that in grade 10, but I want to remind you what difference of two squares is. So I've used the three steps, if you notice. Number one, I change to prime factors. 
Number two, I rewrote my exponent. Number three, I factorized. In this case, I looked for the common what? Factor. Now, what about difference of two squares? Uh, we're going to call it dots. Please take note. Once I say dots, difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. Let's quickly re um, remind ourselves what difference of two squares is. And then we will do some questions. We ready? Okay. Difference of two squares. Check it. Uh, dots. Dots. Here, it's a mathematical rule. A squared minus B squared is A plus B. A minus B. Do you guys remember this? A squared minus B squared. It's a mathematical rule. Let me show you how this works using numbers. Good. Do you guys remember? I want to use a very big number that you will not be able to find. Uh, and I don't want to use a calculator. What is uh, 21 squared minus 20 squared? You will have used the calculator here, right? Okay. There's no need. Do you see that both numbers are already squared squared? It's very simple. 20 plus, or let's start with 21 min or plus 20. That's what it means. And in bracket, 21 minus 20. Difference of two squares. You drop the basis and change the signs. What is 21 plus 20? You don't need calculator here. What is 1 plus 0? Zero? 0. 2 plus 2? Sorry, 1 plus 0, 1, right? 1 plus 0, 1. 2 plus 2, 4. What is 21 minus 20? 1. What is 41 times 1? Use a calculator. Let's confirm. 21 squared minus 20 squared. 21 squared minus 20 squared. We are done. 41. No need to use a calculator. You must become smart. Make sense? Okay. Just enjoy maths, guys. It's all about rules. Use rules of maths. I'm training you on this because some of you are going to write NBT exams. Some of you need that for your, the courses you are going to do in grade 12. So these are the basic things you're going to be applying. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And doing maths as if uh, you have a calculator in your head. But these are the basic rules. Okay. I want to quickly do something here. Hmm. Look at this question. I'm creating a question. over two all right please listen carefully after this i've got a lot of questions for us to look at let me see okay oh i have this i have that ah then you will do this at home i'll do two so i'm doing three now Ooh, then we move on beautiful you do all of this i'll only do one or two out of these ones Okay, so please follow through. I'm already doing one here, starting with this one. Now, do you notice all of these things are already written as prime basis? There's nothing like two is already two is a prime factor, right? One is a prime factor already, in fact. Okay, but I have a problem. I have two to the power two x. What does two x mean? Two times x. That's what it means, right? Two times x can be written as x times two. It's the same thing. 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3. Right? 1 times 3 is the same as what? 3 times 1. Okay. Which means this 2 to the power 2x can be written as 2x. Watch that. 
not squared 2 to the power x times 2 I want to show you where I'm going does that make sense please let me see your hand here quickly if you are okay with what I just did I just changed the positions Janelle what's up 2x is the same as x2 all right and I put a bracket remember if I had given you this question this expression you will have simply multiplied that and what is x times 2 is 2x that's the trick that examiners want to now destroy you with but now we got them minus 1 is that fine yes. hold on 1 can be written as 1 squared what is 1 squared 1 I'm going somewhere over 2 to the power x plus 1 there's nothing I'm going to do at the denominator right do you notice on the top both numbers have 2 as the exponent it's difference of 2 squares difference means check let's explain the language difference means minus of two numbers that ha can be written as squared minus and two numbers that have can be written as squared it's a minus and I have written these numbers as that does that make sense so what do I do I open two brackets I drop the basis and I use different signs that's all please follow me here I'll be slow what, what does this mean I can open how many brackets two brackets what's the base 2 to the power x and 1 2 to the power x and 1 following the rules of math yes label your hand is up 1 plus 1 minus label talk to me your hand is up and what do I have 2 to the power x plus 1 do you notice that this and this yes talk to me huh? are we okay please check the maths let me know difference of two squares use the principle there um two to the power x okay i know you couldn't write that uh no but it's not two x minus one two to the power x minus one lirel okay aha uh -huh. now let's go do some more questions we do remember i'll do two you have three to do as homework then i move to the next concept i need to get to search today quickly as fast as i can Are we okay? All right. Let's see. You're done writing. Let's quickly look at the first one. Ah, sweet. Everything is written as prime already. There's not, I don't need to write it in the prime. So step one is already done for us. What is step two? Rewrite. What is 2 to the power x plus 2? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2. Minus 
2 to the power x times 2 to the power what? 3. Over, what do we have? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. Minus 2 to the power x times 2 to the power what? 2. Can we find what's common at the top? 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x at the top. What's common at the bottom? 2 to the power x, to the power x. So let's factorize. We bring what's common out. What are we left with? 2 squared minus 2 cubed. Is that fine with us? Over. What's common at the bottom? 2 to the power x. What do we have? 2 to the power 1 minus 2 to the power 2. All right. I see quickly. T ta. We divide. Okay, I've got two questions I want to deal with quickly. Which negative? This one? Yes. It is because it's coming up there. That's a negative there. That's the negative. That's the negative. Okay. Uh, Lebo, you were asking where does the two come from? I don't know if you're okay now. Let me know. Which two are you referring to? The previous sum. Okay, I've gone back to that screen. Which two are you talking about? Talk to me. The two, by, the two by the one. Which? One. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me do this so that we are on the same page. Step one. Step two. Step three. And step four. Step, step two. Okay. Which two are you talking about? This one. The two that... Yes. We are trying to write it so we can simplify as dots. One squared is one. That's what the examiner is hiding. So you need to learn to manipulate. Huh? We need to learn to manipulate. So the two there is for me to be able to write it as difference of two squares. And I've not changed the equation because one squared is still one. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. So it's called manipulation there. All right, guys. I hope this, this one, we are on the same page so far. Now, what do you notice? What is 2 squared? 4. What is 2 cubed? 8. Over. What is 2 to the power 1? 2. Minus what? 4. What is 4 minus 8? Negative 4. What is 2 minus 4? Negative 2. Negative divided by negative? Positive. 4 divided by 2? You can confirm your answer by using any value for x. You know we did that a while ago. Okay. Samantha, Samantha your hand is up. Talk to me. Excuse me, sir? Yes. Um, so, what I usually do with sums like this is I find the lowest common decimal, then I times it for the numer numerator, and then I whatever is left, like I add it to the top. No, I divide it. I divide the LCD with the numerator, then I multiply Ooh, that what's left with the numerator. That, that looks... That looks like um, a university approach. What did you say you do again? I find the lowest common decimal, then I divide it with the numerator, with the numerator then I times it with what's left with okay. the numerator. All right, Samantha, hold on. So, what is your lowest common there? Take me through. Um, I never yet do the sums, so but what I'm saying is what I usually do with sums like this is I do that. So I was wondering if that works too. No, it will not work here. Okay. Because you're, yes, when you say lowest common, um, it's, it's just, it's going to be hectic. It, nah. Please do, do it this way. Okay. 
do it this way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Because then, then you are dealing with fractions and whatnot and whatnot, but I, I think it, do it this way, it becomes a lot easier. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Everybody okay? Let's move to the next one. But thank you, thank you for that. I love, I love, I love um, approaches, different approaches. Let's go to the next one quickly. What are we doing here? We move together. Nine. Guys, don't leave it as nine. Can we change it into a prime? So what are we going to get? Three to the power two. Remember, we have x there, right? Plus three to the power two x times three to the power one. Does that make sense to you? We split it up. We rewrite it. Over. Can we deal with 18? Shift fact. You don't even need that. 18 is 2 times 9. Alright? And what is 9? 3 squared. So 2 times 9. Do you notice I've already done with my shift fact? 2 times 9 is 18. But what is 9? 3 squared. There's an x there. Is that fine? Times what? 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power what? negative x. Not x. Negative x. Okay. Let's see where this one will lead us to. It, it's looking nice. Uh, what do you have here? 2 times x, 2x. Plus 3 to the power, please. The way you write will either make you or destroy you. Let's look at the bottom. What do we have? 2 to the power x. Now they are mixing a lot of things for us now, right? Times 3 to the power what? 2x times 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power. The only time you factorize, guys, is when you are adding and subtracting. Is that okay? So look at the numerator. What do you notice? Remember what I told you. The plus should be seen like a wall. Make sense? The plus and minus should be seen like a wall. And you will see what is common on both sides of the wall. Left side and the right hand side. Okay. Now we see what's common on the left side and the right hand side, right? So what do we do? Can we bring that out? 3 to the power what? 2x. What do we have left? Never. 1. I knew you were going to say that. Guys, please. When you factorize, if there are two terms, there must be two terms in the bracket. Please take note. When you factorize, please take note of this. Because this is basically saying times one. Make sense? So when I take that out, what is remaining? One. All right? One plus what we have left here? Three. Now, guys, I cannot do that at the bottom. Why? There's no plus and minus. Do you see that? Yes, Tandeka, talk to me. Tandeka, your hand is up. So can you please explain again why you said 1 plus 3? Okay, Tandeka, keep your mic on. From grade 10, what would you do here, Tandeka? Talk to me. What's common? So it's x that's common, or 1x. Okay, so we should take out x, right? Yes. Okay, what, what should we do next? Open a bracket. Yes. All right, what do we have left? Y. Uh-huh. Plus x. Plus X, one X. Ah, uh, but we took out the X already. X is common. One. It's one. Are you aware that if you expand this, you must get this? What is X times Y? It's X, Y. What is X times one? It's just X. Are we okay? 
sir. All right. So please, I know that learners from grade 10 and 11 always miss that one. Is that okay? We always miss yes. that one. So I want us to sort that out. If I have two numbers, if I have two terms here, and I factorize in the bracket, I must also have how many terms? Two. So x is, guys, this simply means if I write xy plus x, it's the same as writing xy plus x times y. Now, what is common? x and x. Do you notice what's remaining? What's remaining? y plus y. Are we okay, Tandeka? Yes, thank you, sir. All right. Don't worry, I knew that that one was going to cause a lot of problems. But everybody's okay. Now, I'm saying at the bottom, we cannot factorize. Why? You only factorize when you add and subtract. But what are we doing here? Multiplying. So we go back to our grouping. 3 to the power 2x times 2. There's only one 3 there, right? But how many 2s do we have? 3. What are we going to do to the exponent? We're going to add. The first one is x. The next one is what? 1. The next one is what? Now, check. Look at the beauty of math. T, ta. Because at the bottom, we are only what? Multiplying. Okay. So what do we have? What is 1 plus 3 at the top? 4. What is x minus x? 0. 0 plus 1? Ah, 0 plus 1 is 1. So what is 4 divided by 2? Uh, somebody give me a number, quickly. I need a number. Yes, a number. 6. Okay, I've got 6. 9 to the power of what? 6. Plus 3 uh, to the power of, what is x? 6. Okay, sorry, I got a 6 first. What is 2 times 6? 12 plus 1? 13. 13. Over 18 to the power of what? 6. Okay. Multiplied by 2 to the power of what is 1 minus 6? Negative 5. All right. My answer is 2. Guys, are we okay? Are we okay? All right. So, let's understand the rules of the game. Let's understand the rules of the game. You did this in grade 10 as well, though. This was done in grade 10. But I know that the holiday just took everything out. Holiday took everything out. Sir, could you please explain it again? All right, Miriam. Um, from the top? Is it from the top? Okay, no problem. Um, but let's see. Let me let me see something. Miriam, do you want to put on your mic for me? Okay, Miriam. Okay, look at step number one. Are you are you are you okay with step number one? First was to take first was to take nine. That's my nine, right? The rule is that we change it into prime. Are we okay? We rewrite we rewrite this two x plus one with the same base. When do we do that? When you see a plus or a minus. If we are adding or subtracting. Our 18, we broke it down into factors. 2 times 9, but 9 is 3 squared. Alright? Again, I'm breaking this down. If I could, if I'd like, I could have left that. Because there's no plus or minus at the bottom. Alright, but still, good. 2 times x would give me 2x. 
and right instantly I see that this is common. Every time you have a plus and minus, always factorize. And to factorize, you find what is common. So what's common? 3 to the power what? 2x. And I did explain that this means 1 here. So 1 plus 3. And that's my plus 3 there. Make sense? And at the bottom, what do we have at the bottom? You remember, we'd, we've been doing this all along, distributing. The only reason we are distributing is because this is what? Multiplication. Always remember those rules. So 2 to the power x, 2 times x, 2x. And that's fine there. What do we do? We are multiplying. Multiplying with the same base, what do we do? Add the exponents. That's why we have x plus 1 minus x. And x minus x would give us what? 0. A 0 plus 1 would give us what? 1. Already this and this. Because this shows we are multiplying. Once I put a bracket, guys, I can only cancel. Listen to me. I can only cancel when I am multiplying. Everybody, please look up. 4 plus 3 over 4. Am I multiplying here? No. So don't go and do math like this, please. It's wrong. This here, what is 4 plus 3? We are done there. But check this. 4 times 3 over 4. I am not adding. I am multiplying. You can do that. Take note of those basic maths. And the answer is 3. Because 4 divided by 4 would give me 1. Miriam, we good? Tandeka, your hand is up. Don't worry, you have some questions to practice with. Let's see. Before I give you homework, please, let's try G. You try G. I'll give you five minutes. Um, from any, yes, they will ask. Simplify. We're not solving. All right? We'll start solving maybe from next week. But right now, we are. once we start doing equations, you'll see. It will tell you solve for x. You'd also see an equal sign. This time around, we are simplifying. We are simplifying. So let's try G so we can correct everyone. Everybody, we're taking on G at the moment so we can see if you need corrections. Then you do H and I at home. Five minutes.
Let me know if you're done. Miriam, you need to fix something there. Okay. Fix that denominator where you are factorizing. Are we done? Okay, let's check. Let's check. It's, it's the first one, so let's check. Moment of truth. All right. I will start by, quickly. We're doing G, right? Three times 2 to the power x minus 2 to the power x times 2 to the power negative 1. Is that fine with you? Over 2 to the power x times, no sorry, plus, plus 2 to the power what? x times 2 to the power what? 2. How you write is important. How you write is important. What's common? Two. 2 to the power x. Okay, let me get a different color. 2 to the power x. 2 to the power x, right? By the way, that's the same thing common at the bottom. Sweet. So let's write what's common out. What do we have? 2 to the power x. What's remaining? 3 minus what's remaining 2 to the power negative 1 are we fine there over what's common at the bottom what do we have in the bracket y2 squared guys how many terms are here this was what we explained there are two terms so one thank you one Plus, plus. that's it there. Once you miss that factorization, boom, done. There are two terms there, guys. In the bracket, there must also be two terms. You cannot do this. Look, you cannot have this. Let's check something. And then you say 2 to the power x into bracket. You have already killed math. These two are not equal. How many terms are here? Two. Three. No, it's two. Two terms. How many terms are in your bracket? 
one. I'll read it wrong. So please take note of that one. Yes. Which other way around? Yeah, but why do you want to write two squared plus one? Do it the way... Because I told you this one means what? Times one. Do you see that? Do you see where the one is coming from? So if I take out two to the power x, you are still correct by saying two squared two squared plus one, but that means you are thinking late. Okay. Guys, are we okay? That was the main thing that could have caused errors in this question. All right, what do you notice? This and this can divide. So what do we have? Ah, I like this one. 3 minus, what is 2 to the power negative 1? 1 over 2. Over 1 plus 4. Now, no calculators, guys. Can we simplify this? We did this yesterday. Diagonal, diagonal, denominator. 3 times 2, 6. It's a minus 1 times 1, 1. Over, what's the denominator? 1 times 2, 2. Everything here is divided by 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. Now, what is 6 minus 1? 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 1. 5 over 2 times 1 over 5. This 5 can divide. What's your answer? Half. That is your answer. Your answer is half. Are we okay, guys? Are we okay? Everybody okay? Denzel. Yes, sir. Hi. Can I please ask from the second equal sign, how did we get, I understand how we got 6 minus 1, but how did we get the 2? Which one? The 2 at the bottom? Yes, sir. That's your lowest common. The lowest common mm -hmm. denominator. So, yesterday we said the easiest way to deal with fractions is to use what you call diagonal, diagonal denominator. Were you here yesterday? No, I was not. All right. I watched the video. You watched it, right? Do you remember this process? Diagonal, you multiply. 3 times 2, 6. Diagonal, 1 times 1, 1. Denominator, 1 times 2, 2. Okay, All right, so that's how that's how we work it out. All right, guys. So you'd have some work to do. All right, you'd have some work to do. You can then try the second and the third one as homework. Let's see if we can get something extra done. All right, uh, this will probably be my last slide for the day. Okay, examiner is just trying to ask you to simplify here. I'll do number one and I'll do A and F. Okay? I'll do A and F. Please listen carefully so that you'll see what I'm doing. They said show. Show. A. Show that 5 times 2 to the power x. All right. It means I need to simplify. They've already given me the answer. Can I do E? Uh -huh, you scared. Okay, I'm only doing two. So instead of F, somebody said, Kyle says I should do E, so I'll do E. <laughs> Kyle, don't let math scare you. Okay. 
All right, look at show. So I'm taking the left hand side. I must when they say show, it means I should simplify to make sure I get, they're giving me the answer. So you, if you're not getting, and please don't do magic. Don't just do 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 and write two to the power x. Ah 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 ah. Okay, so guys, what do you think we should do here? This is five times two to the power x minus. Can we split that? What do we have? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power what? 2. What's common? Make sense? Okay. Beautiful. So what do we have? We open a bracket. What are we left with? We've already taken five. that 2 to the 5 minus 2 to the power 2. What is 2 to the power 2? 2 to the power 2 is 4. Yes. Right? Are you seeing that we're already done? I don't know if you can see. 2 to the power 2 is what? 4. What is 5 minus 4? So 2 one. to the power x multiplied by 1. What is 2 to the power x multiplied by 1? And, and that's what they ask us to show. Show that that is that. Crazy physics, our simpler aim is to make your academics easy. That, that's all. That's our slogan. Ah, guys, okay, we've got to choose between E and F. I am only doing two, so it's time to vote. Okay, it's time to vote. F, F. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's moving so far. Okay, I've got to count. I've got to count. Okay, I'll wait for you all to vote. Ooh, there are 64 votes. Ugh. Ta 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 ta. Dinelle, your hand is up. So, I wanted to say F. F, okay. Since Dinelle says F, Dinelle, which school are you from? Clifton. Clifton Secondary School, sir. Ah, uh, that's in Soweto, right? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, Dinel, let's go with you because everybody, there's a lot of F. Uh, somebody yes. says because F has a fraction. Relax, man, guys. Don't be scared, man. It's just maths. Okay. But I wanted to try. Is that okay? I'd like you to try. You try E on your own. I'll do F. Okay. It's not difficult. Please, trust me. Okay, let's walk through together before you write. It's the last question for the day. Let's walk through. F, right? Please don't miss a step. I'll be very slow. 4 can be changed into a prime factor. Is that fine? So can we change 4? Yes. What do we have? 2 to the power 2, right? Okay. Multiplied by... Can we break that down? 3 to the power 1 times 3 to the power what? Negative. You see, when you write met and you are squeezing, you are managing book, managing your book, you will not see things. Please write legibly. Be clear. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Liriel, I'm only doing one. Okay. You are at least try it first, then would we'll mark later on in our next session. Would we'll mark later on. All right. Um, Christabel, okay, I'll, I'll go back and you can take a screenshot. Plus, let's do the next one. What do we have? Come, walk with me. 3 to the power 2 times 3 times to the power three. negative Negatively. x. Okay, we are done there. We what? have a common factor. Aha, uh -huh. what's common? Talk to me. Is that still Dinell? Mm -hmm. 3 to the power negative x. Is that Dinelle? Yes, sir. Ah, sweet Dinelle. Talk to me. 3 to the power what? Negative x. So what do we have in the first bracket? 2 to the power 2. All right. Times 3 to the power three 1, right? To the power, yes, sir. Plus? 3 to the power 2. 3 to the power what? 2. Beautiful. Okay. What is 2 squared? 4. Ah, sweet. 4. What is 4 times 3? 12. Beautiful. 
plus. What is 3 squared? 9. 9, yeah. Ah, 3 squared. 3 times, three times 2. Child. No. 9. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, what do we have? 3 to the power of negative x. What is 12 plus 9? 21. Uh, look at your 21 already. Now, it's a negative exponent. We go back to our definitions. Negative <laughs> exponent. It means if it's a negative, we bring it down. And it becomes what? Yes, a positive exponent. So what is this going to be? 1 over 3 to the power x times what? Please don't go and say that 7. Uh -uh. That's no longer math. That's witchcraft now. Okay. okay. That's now witchcraft. If you are, because that one has an exponent. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's complete witchcraft. There's nothing I can do. What is 1 times 21? 21. What is 3 to the power x times 1? Check. Boom. Boom. Show. We are done. Huh? What is 1 times 21? 21. What is 3 to the power? No, we are not. Yes, I wanted to say, guys, you're not cross multiplying. You're only cross multiplying when you are multiplying across an equal sign. That is cross multiplication. Look, let's quickly sort that out. A over B times C over D. Here you multiply the numerators. Met principles. AC over BD. We're done. But if I have A over B equals to C over D, this is where I cross multiply. A times D, AD equals to B times C. This is your cross multiplication. Do you still want me to do E? Let's see. I want to see. Uh, uh, Chelsea, can I do C? Uh, now you want me to do everything. No. You need to try first. Don't be scared. You, there are six questions. It's fair that I do two and you do four. No, I'm not doing any. I'm not doing any of the questions anymore. No, no. Okay, let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Can I ask you to try E now and we mark it quickly? You do E now. Then, uh, Denzel Washington. Okay. Uh, guys, we are trying, let's quickly try E for five minutes and then we mark. Then we shut the lesson down today. Don't worry about writing. You can take screenshots. Quickly, five minutes. Uh, okay. Yes, I think Kosi, we only apply the DDD when we are adding or we are subtracting fractions. Adding or subtracting fractions, we use the DDD. It makes it easier.
Once you get it, please let me know. I'm expecting us to get it. Oh, did you get it? Did you get it? Um, Pinuela. Did I pronounce it that well? Pinuela, did you get it? Oh, what's this showing on my screen? Kaylin, Athenkosi, Luisa. Did we get it? Oh, Covenant, we got it. Simika, did you get it? Asanda, did you get it? So what a math question will do is to scare you. Remember the principles, that's all. Math will always come like... Rawr. Remember the principles. 30 more seconds. <laughs> Chris, you're laughing. But honestly, I'm, I'm telling you, Mets will come like... Rrr. You know, a, a toothless bulldog can only back. And that's all it does. Look, did you get it? Come on. Uh, the DDD method, Betty, the DDD method is a simple way of dealing with your fractions, okay? It's a simple way of dealing with your fractions, where you just multiply, multiply, and multiply, and simplify. Okay, I'll show you now what the DDD does. Okay, it's my time. It's 10 o'clock, so I need to quickly run through, because I have other sessions to do it. Betty? Let me quickly help you with the DDD. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. If you check your calculator, your answer is 5 over 6. So what your calculator will do, diagonal, multiply the first diagonal, 1 times 3. You always start from the left. 1 times 3, 3. Then you multiply the second diagonal, 2 times 1. It's a plus, we are adding. Then you multiply the denominator, 2 plus 3. Check. If you check your calculator now, you would have that. That's just a simple way from grade 8 and 9. Okay, can I go back to E? Let's see. 2 times 10. Can we change that 10? What are we going to have? 2 times, 2 times 5, right? Guys, don't say 20. You cannot multiply them if they don't have the same exponent. Those are the rules. All right? Minus. Can we split that? 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 1 times 2 to the power what? x. Oh, but I see the examiner wants 10. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. What is this? 2 times 2 to the power. I want to use this to explain something to you. Are we fine there? Times 5 to the power x. Are we fine? minus 5 to the power x, are we fine? Times 5 to the power 1, times 2 to the power what? x. What is common? Is that fine? However, that's not all. Do you notice that's also common to both of them? So let's bring what is common out. What's common? 2 to the power x, times 5 to the power what? x. No, both of them are common. What do we have left on the left hand side? 2. Minus, we've taken those things that are common out. What do we have left? 5 to the power 1, which is 5. Alright. Now, we did this when we're looking at the definitions. Do you notice that my powers are the same? If the powers are the same, I can multiply the basis. What is 2 times 5? Yeah. To the power of what? X. Please, I'm going to quickly explain something here. And what is 2 times 2 minus 5? So what's your answer? Negative 3 times 10 to the power of what? X. 
My dear learners, I want to conclude, but please, I, what I want to say now, let this sink in. Please, let this sink in. I'll send the pictures for homework, but please, let this sink in. I want to quickly repeat some of the vital things. 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x. Same base. What do we do? We add the exponents. Please, very key. 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x. What's common? The exponent. What do we do? We multiply the bases. 2 times 3. This is very important. And what does this give us? Check. If I had given you 6 to the power x, what would you have done? Write them as prime what? Factors. 2 times 3. Then what would you do? You distribute. Do you notice we are back here? If the bases are the same, please, let, 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 let's, put, let's put this. Note, NB. When multiplying, please write this quickly. When multiplying, A, same base. What do you do? Keep the base. Add, write it in capital. Add the exponent. B, when multiplying with the same power, what do you do? Multiply. Write that in capital. Multiply the base. Keep the exponent. Please. This is very key. When, ooh, when multiplying, not when multiply. English. When multiplying. When you are multiplying, guys, when you are multiplying, when multiplying, there's a hand up there, I think. When multiplying, if you are using the same base, keep the base. Add the exponents. But when you are multiplying with the same power, multiply the base and keep the exponents. I hope that will help you. Very basic law that you and I need to know. All right. Uh, guys, did you learn one or two things today? Make sense? Awesome. Uh, let me see. Just while you... Oh! Okay, no, I'm going to... Uh, uh, guys, please, can I steal five minutes? Please, can I steal five minutes? Just five minutes. Let me do number one. No, let me do number... I'll do D. So you can do A, B, C. I'll do D. I forgot about this, but I've explained this. Everybody, please look up. Don't write. 16. So when we meet next, we are going ahead with something else. All right. Please look at this one. It looks very hectic. Very, very hectic. Please. But I know, once I see things like this, I know that the examiner is trying to play around with me. The first thing I check with these numbers, can I write them as squares? Yes, I can. I think I can. I can. Let's look at 16 minus 4x. Uh, P, P, pa, pa, pa. Let's check. Can I write 16 as a power of 2? It's 4 squared, right? Okay. 4 to the power of 2 minus... Can I write 4 to the power of 2? What would that be? 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by x. Everybody okay? We okay there? All right. Over... 2 to the power of x. There's nothing I can do with that. Alright. But can I write 4 to the power of 2? 
What would that be? Okay, here, please note, um, I would write this, I'll leave this as 4. Why am I leaving it as 4? Because this 2x to the power of x cannot be written. Oh no, did I just lose connection? One second. I just lost connection. They are going to be worried. The first time this is happening to them. I forgot that this one was there. One second, I'll be back online just now. Okay, guys. What a wow! What a, what a wow! What a wow! 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 Um, let me see something. Can you? Okay. All right, guys. Can you? Can Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Sorry, I just had a network glitch there. Sorry about that. Can you see the screen as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's quickly finish this. Let's finish this. I'm just doing one so you can have enough work to do. All right. Uh, let me go back. I don't know where I lost you. So... Let me go back quickly. Three minutes, I should be done. Here's the question. 16 minus 4 to the power x, 2x to the power x minus 4. All right. Now, first, I, I, I'm looking at, when I see minus and plus, I'm thinking, okay, difference of two squares. Especially when I see minus. Difference means what? Minus. Let's write everything to the power of 2. That's the whole idea. Look at 16. 16 can be written as what? 4 to the power of what? 2. Because we said difference of 2 squared. Squared means 2. Exponent of 2, right? Minus 2 to the power 2. Is that fine? Are we okay, everybody? Over. Now, I said there is no need to write the denominator as a power of 2 because it's a power of what? X. Eh? It cannot be written as a power of 2 anymore. Okay. So, 2 to the power of X minus 4. Watch this. Look at the top. I am going to change my 2x and write it as what? x2. 4 to the power of 2 over I don't know if that makes sense. The aim is to make sure I have 2 and 2 there and this is minus difference of two numbers that are squared. That's where the language came from. Difference of two numbers that are squared. I hope that makes sense. We, we already explained this, right? 2x can be written as what? x2. Do you remember difference of two squares now? What do we do? We open how many brackets? Two brackets. Drop the base. 4, 2 to the power x. 4, 2 to the power x. In one of the brackets, plus. In one of the brackets, minus. Over, what do we have here? 2 to the power x, minus 4. Do you notice that 
this and this, they look alike, but they're not the same. 2 minus 3, 3 minus 2. Ah, what can we do? We did that in grade 10. Sign change. So I can therefore write 4 plus 2 to the power x. I'll keep this as 4 minus 2 to the power x. How do I change my din? Because I must change the arrangement. I'll introduce what? A minus outside. 4 minus 2. Let me quickly explain this. It's called sign change. What is negative times 4? Negative 4. What is negative times negative 2x? So I've done sign change, and therefore I can pa, pa. I should write? It is the one that looks like the one in the top. Yeah, it already looks like it. It's 4 minus 2 to the power x. 4 minus 2 to the power x. It was 2 to the power x minus 4. I changed the position and put a minus there. That's what you call sign change. So that this and this can go. Now what do I have? Negative 4 plus 2 to the power x. Sir, so why... Okay, let's... We're finishing now. Sir, so why did we leave the 4 in the denominator and didn't change it to a prime factor? All right, good. Good question, Nathan Kosi. Why did we leave this as 4? The reason I left this as 4 is it's not going to help me. Check. Nothing is common. There's nothing common. And I've already seen that the examiner is testing me on difference of 2 squares. Nathan Kosi, does that make sense? Because if I do this, there's nothing I can do here. Nothing is common to the power x minus. It, it's not making any. It's not going to help me. Even if I had changed it, I would still be left with, I'll have to change it back to 4 here. So that I can then do my sign change. Did that make sense? Kind of. Yes. Kind of. Makes sense. All right. Guys, I want you to try A, B, and C. You try A, B, and C. I'll send these pictures on the group. I hope everybody's on the group. A, B, and C. And then we'll deal with every other thing. Okay, Spamandla, I'm done. Quickly, let me take your questions. Spamandla. Okay, I'm not in the group. Sorry? I'm not in the group. Okay. Who else? Bet Betty, talk to me. I see your hand raised. No, thank you. You're also not a okay, all right. Just hold on, hold on while you are all here right now. If you are not in the group, I'm going to sort you out. Samantha, also not in the group. All right, I just sent the group link. Click that, and it takes you right into the group. Okay. Kyle. <laughs> All right, guys, did you get the link? The link is there. Or you can send us a message. Send the admin a message on 081744. Just write that number down. All right, so guys, I'll send the pictures and then we'll continue from here. Be on the group. That's where you'll get information. That's the number. 081744-2103. But I can you repeat? Repeat what? It's on the screen. Can you see the screen? No. Which screen have you been watching since the beginning of the class? I was not there. Who am I speaking to? Command. Ebanna. Spamanza. 081. 081. 
Spamandla, which cl- have you not been writing down notes since we started? I was not there on Monday. What screen are you seeing right now? Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. I can see it. Hey, what's on the screen? Can you see a phone number there? Can you not give me Yes, I can see it. Hey. Oh. Oh. Thanks. It's Papa. All right, guys. Have a lovely day. I'll send you uh, the work, the homework on uh, the group, and then we'll take it from there. All right. Any other information will be shared on the group. Goodbye, guys, and keep well. Make sure you keep working, guys. Go through your notes. Go through the lessons again. They are all on YouTube. Bye. Bye, Shakira. Bye, Kamani. Bye, sir. Bye, Athen Kosi. All right, bye, guys. Thank you. Goodbye. Takani, your hand is up. Okay, bye. Uh, Christabel, we'll talk on WhatsApp. I saw you sent me a picture. I want to deal with your calculator. All right. Okay, Takani. Goodbye, everybody.